get up. All right, so now I'm gonna brush my teeth and then afterwards we're gonna go outside and do a quick little walk around. I always like to make sure uh, in the morning when I wake up to do a quick walk around, kick some tires, check my fifth wheel, uh, check my hoses, all that good stuff, so. All right, so now we're gonna go out here and do a quick pre-trip. So I like to check my hoses, make sure my hoses are good, connected. Check my fifth wheel, make sure it's locked, which it is. Kick some tires. Pretty much do a quick little walk around. The trailer tires. And I like to check the the oil on my hubs, which is pretty good too, because if uh, any of this is low or anything's leaking, that can be pretty bad and you need to get it fixed ASAP. Everything looks good so far. Good. And you can tell when you have a flat, even by just kicking it. it the sound is just different. Everything's good down here. Looking good. All right, we're good. Now it's time to start driving. All right, guys, so right now we're on our way to Kettleman City. Um, gotta go pick up some onions out there at Delano Farms. I stayed up in the bay. Um, after I delivered my load, I dropped it off and I stayed out there, stayed uh, in the Livermore area. Um, finished around, I finished pretty early last night. I finished like around 2 in the morning and I got a pretty good amount of sleep. I didn't wake up until like 9 this morning. After I pick up here, um, I have to call my uncle and see where else he wants me to go or if he wants me to go back to the yard and pick up the rest of the pellets. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. pulling up to my stop and there's quite a bit of trucks right now so hopefully this doesn't take too long all right so now that I called the number I'm gonna go and check in um, it's looking good though they told me it should be in and out but you know they always say one thing and you end up being here for six hours for fucking three pallets all right so good news I just got a door right now so, like I said, things are looking good. So I should be in and out, but let's go dark. I completely forgot to turn on my, my reefer, so let's do that right now. Right, let's go to this door. This place, I kind of hate it because there's so much dirt on the floor. So when you're driving through, all the dirt's in the air and you can't even see anything because the dirt's so thick. Let's, let's dock real quick, get loaded, and then go to the next pickup. I don't know if you said door 9 or door 4. Oh, no, it's going to be door 4 for sure. Door 4, right there.
gonna get down, but I'm gonna go tell them how I want it loaded, or else they're just gonna load it uh, however, and I need it loaded a specific way. And in case you guys didn't know, if you guys are here from TikTok, you guys probably do know, but if you're just watching this on YouTube, um, I have merch that I just dropped. I dropped it yesterday, it's a pre-order, so the pre-order is gonna be live for about 10 to 14 days. Once those 10 to 14 days are over, I'm gonna start shipping out all the orders. Um, I have hoodies and shirts. I have small through 3XL. All right, now let's go to the sleeper. This is pretty much my second home, to be honest. I usually have all this filled up with like snacks because I have a little fridge in here. Um, I have my clothes in here, but my clothes are in my bag. I just haven't uh, hung anything up because I just brought that back home, back from home. But I usually have this all full of snacks. So I have like chips up there. Down here I'll have like, um, anything literally i'll have like just a bunch of random snacks i just haven't went grocery shopping but yeah this is my little this is my little bed right here finally got loaded right now <sighs> took a little longer than expected but we're finally out uh got my paperwork now i have to drive to um to lindsay california which is about an hour and a half roughly from kettleman city so gotta head that way and go pick up four pallets and then after that i gotta go back to the yard and get the rest of my load and then i gotta drive to uh then i gotta drive to selma california but all right let's close these doors let's head to lindsay california maybe we'll stop and get something to eat because i haven't ate all day and Mexican food so we're gonna stop at this little Mexican restaurant we're gonna grab some food and then go to the, to the drop that I'm supposed to go pick up I'm fucking hungry so let's get to me just got my food in here and my soda just pulled up let's go get checked in so my dock is right there so let's park Make sure to secure your load right before you leave because if not the minute this these pallets get into our truck it's our responsibility to make sure that they're properly secured i got a load lock on this side my pallet jack on that side we're good to go why you guys seen me um loading up those three pallets is because their ramp wasn't working and um they didn't tell me that and i had doctor ready so i just told them hey like if i could just Put them on the edge of the trailer and I'll, I'll put them in myself. Finally going back to the yard. Uh, there's a couple other pallets I have to pick up over there. And then I think I can finally go up. Right now I have uh, 11 pallets on me. Usually I go up with 24, 23, it just depends. But uh, crossing my fingers, it's a good day. Yeah, I'll probably shower up once I get to the yard as well. So, see you guys back at the pulling up to the yard right now. Let's see how many pallets there is for me. Kind of look like quite a bit, but who knows? Because I still got to go to Selma. But depending on how much pallets there is right here at the yard, it's going to determine 
how my rest of the day goes. So, you know, I might even have time to go home and shower real quick and see the see my wife and kids. I remember the first time I came to the yard, I was like, with my trainer, <laughs> I was like, dude, I do not know how I'm gonna park here, but I'll figure it out. And I remember him telling me like, he's like, it looks intimidating, but he's like, you'll get it eventually. But I, I did, I had a pretty hard time the first couple of tries. It's not too bad, but I mean, being a beginner, it can get pretty difficult, honestly. So I'm gonna dock real quick, and then I'm gonna see what there is for me to take, and I'll update you guys. All right, so we just docked at the yard, and I gotta put in one, two, three. I gotta put in four of those uh, red with blue pellets, and then two of the black pellets. Let me show you guys. Do that real quick. So I can go home and sh so I can go home and shower. I'll probably just shower here at the yard, and then. All right, so I just finished loading right now, and I'm currently putting some diesel in the truck at the yard, just so I can be full. I don't like letting it get past a little bit below half because then it's just uh, too risky. But we're gonna go home, see my family for uh, for a bit before I take off back to San Francisco. And you guys are gonna come with me, so you guys can see the whole process of what it's like delivering all the produce to all the places. I got Shasta growers, New Growers, Apex. I got about five or six drops tonight, so it's gonna be an easy night, but that's I hope it goes smooth. I'm filling up at the yard. This is the best part about my job. I never have to stop at the truck stops to put diesel. Unless I absolutely have to. We got a diesel tank at the yard. And we got a death tank as well right here. So that makes the whole process of everything go a lot smoother because we don't gotta wait for long. Fuel. Uh, we don't gotta wait in lines for anybody, and yeah, it just makes the whole process last. Waiting to finish. Uh, up, so I'm trying to get a. Uh, All right, so I just got back from seeing my wife and kids for a little bit. I went and I had lunch with them. Uh, now I'm gonna drive up to the bay, and let's see how tonight goes. All right, guys. So it's about 9 p.m. right now, and I decided to stop at the pilot truck stop. Over here in Madeira. I'm just gonna get myself something to drink real quick just so I can start heading up already. It's still pretty early, so we're really good on time right now. Guys, so I just finished unloading at the first spot. Forgot, I completely forgot to record because I was just trying to finish. But got done the first spot. Now let's head over to the second spot. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this is actually the third drop that I had. I forgot to record since I got into Oakland. But yeah, I've had two drops already. I gotta go to the third one, then I got one more. up to the second drop it's right there get a part right
mask up. And let's go deliver. Ooh, I almost forgot. I got food from earlier. So I'm gonna warm up my food. As soon as I'm done unloading this. Here's my truck. Gotta unload those four pallets over there. Let's get it. All right, so I just delivered these five pallets. Now I gotta get the paperwork signed. And then I'm gonna warm up my food so I can eat real quick and then go drop off this little last pallet. Pour it up my food. Okay. All right, guys, so we're pulling up to my last drop right now. It's called Apex Logistics. I had said earlier that it's an airport, but they actually deliver it to an airport, so. I wasn't actually going to network. Um, this would be right, uh, right here. Right in there. Ugh, Pretty tiny little spot, not too bad though. Hopefully the dudes here, there's a guy here that usually won't have me dock and he'll just unload it in the back, but I don't see it. So. Wow, it's so dark, but this is a pretty easy place to dock. You just got to really break it all the way. Just break it all the way this way. All the way to the to the left. So we see it down a little bit. I'm bringing it again to the right. Now we get back to the left. You see my trailer the tires are going into the road right there. Break a little more. It should be solid. So we're in here. There it is, finally finished. That's my night, delivering in the bay. That's a day in the life of a truck driver. Um, you guys came with me to deliver, you guys came with me to load up and you guys came with me to deliver out here in the bay. Comment down below what else you guys would like to see. I wanna try growing this channel, making these videos for you guys. Just. I want, to let, I want to know what you guys want to see, so that way I can give you guys what you guys want to see. Maybe you guys have some questions, I can do a QA. and a You guys have some questions about uh, trucking, if you guys want to get into it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get some rest, finally. And I'll see you guys back next video. Vamanos! I really want to come back a year from today, October 5th, and see how much my channel has progressed. So, we'll come back a year from today, 
and see where we're at. I think right now we're sitting at 3,500 followers. I'm not too sure, but you know, 